Hello, I'm Dr. Smerat. I'm one of the interventional cardiologists at the Heart and Vascular Clinics. We're part of the Manhattan Specialist Center. I want to talk to you today about a couple of terms that you hear interchangeably. Sometimes you'll hear the term left heart cath. Sometimes you hear the term right heart cath. They're basically, they can be done both in the same procedure, but they're two separate things. When we say a right heart cath, we're talking about accessing your veins, whether it's a vein in your neck, we call it the internal jugular, or a vein in your arm, or a vein in your groin. And then we access with tubes, and then with those tubes we push that one tube inside until we get to your right side of your heart. That involves your right atrium and right ventricle. The tube has a sensor inside of it. And the idea of this procedure is really we're just collecting information. We're collecting really numbers and blood samples. So we go in, we measure the pressure inside your right atrium, we push a tube to your right ventricle, measure the pressure in there, we push it more, it goes into your pulmonary artery, we measure the pressure there and we take a sample of it. And then we push it all the way until there's no more pushing of the tube and we also measure the pressure in that area. These numbers that we acquire give us a lot of information about what's happening with you. It, it can tell us whether you have what we call pulmonary hypertension. It can tell us whether you have problems with your right ventricle or your right atrium. If there is a problem with your valve, if there is a shunt, if there is a congenital heart disease. It can also give us an insight into what we should do to help you, what kind of drug we need to use, whether we need to vent your system by way of diuresing it or giving you water pills, or we need to give you a pressure medication, or we need to give you medication to dilate the arteries of your lungs and so on. So sometimes from the outside, just by clinical examination and hearing your story and what symptoms you're feeling, whether they're fatigue or shortness of breath and so on, it's not enough for, for me as your cardiologist to figure out what is the problem specifically. And I need sometimes to know specifically what is the problem so that I can give you the specific treatment for it and hopefully help you with quality of life. So this is what a right heart cath does. And usually, you know, it's a common procedure, it's a safe procedure. And once we're done, we'll really just take the tube out, put pressure usually for about 10 minutes, and that's the end of the story. The bleeding will stop. It can be done as an outpatient mode and you can go home the same day. We give you some sedation through this so that you're comfortable and it really requires a little bit of sedation. So this is right heart cath. Now the other term is left heart cath. And you can imagine if the right went into the right ventricle, the left is going to go into the left ventricle. This is a procedure through which we are going through your arteries. That's the first differentiation. So we're not going inside the vein anymore. And the artery can be in your wrist, the radial artery, or it can be in your groin. And then we're, same thing, we're taking our journey by wires and tubes to your heart, but now we're on the left side of your heart. We're inside your aorta, and we're gonna look at your coronary arteries that we spoke about in another video. And we're gonna go inside your left ventricle and measure the pressures inside the left ventricle. And again, that gives us a lot of insight about why are you feeling the way you feel. A lot of times, for example, I see patients that will say, I get really short of breath. And we think, oh, maybe your coronary arteries have disease. We find out that they're open. But then we go inside the left ventricle, we measure the pressure and it's significantly elevated. And then that can make you feel short of breath. So now I know what it is and I know the solution to it and we start doing that. So basically that's the main difference between right heart cath and the left heart cath. The right heart cath is going through the veins. It's going inside the right atrium, right ventricle, pulmonary artery. It's only designed to collect information and data, really blood samples and pressures to guide us to what is the specific diagnosis and what is the specific management or treatment that we need to start you on. A left heart cath goes through your arteries. Its destination is the left side of your heart to look at your coronary arteries, to look at your aorta, and to measure pressures inside your left ventricle, and to evaluate your aortic valve as well. And both of them can be done within the same setting or in the same procedure under the same moderate sedation 
and we can have you know a tube in your vein a tube in your artery through your groin both of them next to each other and perform the procedure I hope I answered some of your questions about the difference between right and left heart cath. Remember, if you have any additional questions, concerns, or issues, you should always reach out to your cardiologist and talk to them about it. Thank you.